Okay, we're still talking about the behavior of rational functions, and now we'll take a look at asymptotes that are neither vertical nor horizontal. And here's our first example. f of x is 2x to the fourth plus 4x cubed plus 3 over 2x cubed minus 3. And we notice here that the degree of the numerator, the numerator is degree 4, is larger than the degree of the denominator, that's degree 3. And when the degree of the numerator is larger than the degree of the denominator, we have to, in order to find the asymptote, we have to actually do the polynomial division. This polynomial divided by this one. And I'll set this up and work this out. Now polynomial long division is kind of tedious and cumbersome and we're only going to do this a couple of times before I explain the, the shortcut. But let's work through this one and see how it works and why. So we want to set up the division here. 2x to the fourth plus 4x cubed plus 0x squared plus 0x plus 3. Remember to include all the terms even if they're 0 and that's going to be divided by 2x cubed minus 3. Now to do this, to, to get started, we only look at the lead terms, the 2x cubed and the 2x to the fourth, and we ask ourselves, how many times does 2x cubed go into 2x to the fourth? Or in other words, what do I multiply 2x cubed by to get 2x to the fourth? And the answer is x. So then my next step is to take this x, multiply it by that and write the result down here and then subtract. So let's do that. x times this. Well that's going to be 2x to the fourth minus 3x. And I'll put that over here so that my x terms are lined up vertically. Then I'll draw a line and subtract. 2x to the fourth minus 2x to the fourth is 0. I'm not even going to bother to write the 0. Then over here, 4x cubed minus nothing is 4x cubed. 0x squared minus nothing is 0, so I'll just leave it blank down here. And here, be careful with the negative sign. Remember, we're doing this row minus that row. So 0x minus negative 3x is positive 3x. So we have 4x cubed plus 3x, and then we bring down this plus 3. And then we do it again. We want to look at the lead terms here, and we say 2x cubed goes into 4x cubed how many times? Or what do we need to multiply 2x cubed by to get 4x cubed? And the answer is 2. So that's a plus 2. Then we multiply 2 times this, put the result down here, and subtract. So 2 times 2x cubed is 4x cubed. And then 2 times minus 3 is minus 6. And now we'll subtract. So 4x cubed minus 4x cubed is nothing. 3x minus nothing is 3x. And then 3 minus negative 6 is 3 plus 6, or 9. So that's a positive 9. And now we're done. Uh, 2x cubed will not go into 3x, so we're finished. Now when you do division like this, this is your remainder. And remember that the remainder is really the numerator of a fraction. And this is the denominator. So our answer from doing this division is x plus 2 plus this over that. So let's write it. And I'm going to write it up here. This is equal to x plus 2 plus 3x plus 9 over 2x cubed minus 3. Now, listen to this. This is the point of doing all of this. Notice that the remainder here has a, a numerator with a degree 1 and a denominator with a degree 3. The degree of the numerator is less than the degree of the denominator. And that will happen every time. Whenever you do this polynomial long division, you end up with a remainder that is of lower degree than the, the original denominator. And now, written this way, we can think about what happens as x gets really big. Remember, this is mathematically equivalent to that. All we did was actually do this division. So our original function, this over this, is equal to that. So this is f of x. 
And it's easy to look at this and see what happens as x gets huge. Look at this term right here. 3x plus 9 over 2x cubed minus 3. You can see that as x gets big, this denominator, because it is of higher degree, that denominator will get big much faster than this numerator. So this term as a whole becomes insignificant. That term, 3x plus 9 over 2x cubed minus 3, that goes to 0 as x gets huge. So as x gets big, we can ignore that. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write this. I'm going to say as x gets really huge, as x approaches infinity, the function itself just behaves like this, x plus 2. So what is x plus 2? Well, that's a, a line like this. Slope 1, y-intercept 2, that's a slant asymptote. And we found it by doing the polynomial long division. Now, I haven't graphed the function. I don't know how it behaves, but I know that as x gets really big in the positive direction, it will either be coming up to this line from the bottom or from the top. And as x gets really big in the negative direction, the function itself, the graph of the function, will be approaching this line either from the bottom or the top. That line will be the asymptote. It's a slant asymptote. And using that, you can immediately see the end behavior. If we're approaching this line either from the bottom or the top, you can see that as x gets big, the value of the function is going on up, higher and higher. And the bigger x gets, the further up that goes. So as x approaches infinity, the value of the function gets huge. So let's write that. Let's say the limit as x approaches infinity of f of x is positive infinity. There, we've used limit notation to describe the end behavior, what happens as x gets really big, of this function. And also in the negative direction, as x gets really big in the negative direction, this graph is going to go on down. And the bigger x gets, the further down it's going to go. So let's write that. Let's say the limit as x approaches negative infinity of f of x, and it will be negative infinity. So that's the the end behavior of this rational function described with limit notation. And we didn't actually graph the function. We don't actually have a picture of how it behaves. But if all we're trying to do is find the end behavior and express it with limit notation, that's it. You might note, in addition, that this function also has a vertical asymptote. Let's talk about that for just a minute. Look at the denominator, 2x cubed minus 3. Let me um, come to a new page here. Okay, A vertical asymptote will occur where the denominator is 0. So 2x cubed minus 3 has to equal 0. Let's solve this for x. So 2x cubed equals 3. So x cubed is 3 halves. So x is going to be the cubed root of 3 halves. That's where our vertical asymptote will be. And then we can think about approaching that from the left and the right. I'm going to talk about the limit as x approaches the cubed root of 3 halves from the left and the limit as x approaches the cubed root of 3 halves from the right. And that's kind of difficult to write neatly, but do the best you can. If x is a little bit less than the cubed root of 3 halves, this denominator will be negative and the fraction as a whole will be negative because the numerator will still be positive so this is going to approach negative infinity there and then the opposite happens if we approach it from the right if x is a little bit bigger than the cube root of three halves then this is a little bit bigger than three and that is just a little bit bigger than zero so it's positive so there's our vertical asymptotes expressed in limit notation